Case Legacy 8 in the Newry Sports Center. We have a light middleweight bout now between Irvin's Lynn Mears out of Santa MMA taking on Next Generation MMA Dublin. Sean Boyd. Sean Boyd is in the red corner. And we got Lynn Mears in the blue corner. Lynn Mears is the tattooed one, is the easiest way to clear that one up. Lynn Mears in on a, a Muay Thai plum. Of course, no knees to the head in amateur MMA, so he's going to have to pick his shots to the body, but. It's Boyd who lands the knee, but a beautiful trip by Irvins. And just sheer power there by Limiers to get position. He's got to be careful though, because Boyd could sneak the back position here. He's looking for maybe Americana in the position here. It could be his own leg obstructing him here from this. Sean Boyd just working his way slowly to the back, and Limir's got to be careful of that. He's got the back, and Limir's he sort of got a bulldog choke on her headlock, an old bully school ground headlock, but it's Boyd with the strong body lock that wins the day there. Trying to push Limir's up against the cage. And Boyd again looking for that trip. He just puts the right leg to take the leg out of him, turn the corner and allow the trip to happen. Let gravity take over once the trip comes in, but this time Limiers is aware of it. He goes for it again and beautiful work and the same again. Limiers is holding on to that Bulldog style choke and now ends up in half guard. Looks the much bigger man as well here as Irvin's Limiers. Expect him to posture up and try rain down some ground and pound. A little stall in position here while Irvins is working for his position here. He's good recovery there, but Boyd and Boyd beautiful uses the almost butterflies to trip and Limers now tries his own trip, but good wide sprawl by Sean Boyd. Looking for wrist control and try to spin on the back now. He's halfway around, got to try and fish a hook in. He's sitting up high and Limers rolls, good roll. Sean Boyd stands up with that body lock on again and forces Lemire's up against the cage. And again, looking for that trip. It's working for him so well. He just pulls, rakes away the leg, the standing leg, and lets gravity take over. And Lemire's has no answer to it at the moment. So Sean Boyd has got that successful takedown at least three occasions here in the opening round. That guard is wide open if he wanted, but Lemire's just powers out. And back to the feet again, and maybe a fallback trip. And it's Limers who ends up in the full guard. Your 10 second clapper are gone, so we're gonna get the end of the bell and the end of the first round. Cage Legacy 8, the light middleweight bout here, and closely contested first round. Evans Lemires was looking to get it to the map, but you have to say that Sean Boyd had a lot of success with a beautiful little inside trip along the cage that pulled Lemires to the, to the canvas, but some good reversals in there by both fighters as well. And we're underway here in the second round. And the Newry Sports Centre filling up nicely here for a packed night of Cage Legacy MMA. Limers just a little while with a shot that allowed Boy to close distance and get that body lock. And here's that trip he's looking for again. This time Limers tries to sit down, almost squat down a little to give a little bit more weight. And Boy, he's comfortable in this position. He really utilizes and Limers this time just power strength and again a scramble. And it ends again. Limers is sort of in that school ground 
bully choke again and it, it's just allowing Boyd to take us back he has that now maybe a suplex on the line or a fallback trip and Lemire's just holding the cage and Johnny Shields is just separating them it looks like he's potentially going to take a point and he is indeed for the cage grab and I think that's the right decision by Johnny Shields Limmers was in a vicarious position there Boyd was pulling him down he had him in the right position to pull him down and Lemire's instant kicks in and he just grabbed the fence it's something that fighters do a lot but the point is being taken for cage grabbing he's explaining Johnny Shields to Irvin's Lemire's what happened and Boyd might be a little disappointed that he has to start back standing here. And you got to think now that gives Boyd a big, he's got a big knee almost to the head there. And it was caught by Sean Boyd. Looked like he threw a kick, but the knee landed, which is a, an illegal move. He's got to be careful here. He's got the, the, the choke in. He's got to let go of that choke potentially. Von Flew is a position here and a danger that Evans Lemires could be in danger of. Out of it now with a little north south, but. He's only going to burn his arms out here to fatten. He's going to turn into it. Boyd is aware of it. And Boyd, of course, on Dempsey. You want to talk Irish MMA pioneer? On Dempsey in the corner is Sean Boyd. Again, Boyd just pushing the mirrors up against the defense wall here. And the mirrors trying to turn him, but got to say Boyd is excellent in this position he's showcasing good strength and trips and scrambles as well he, he always ends up like a cat landing on his feet he just keeps landing in the, the better position and Amir just stepped off and tried to throw a big right hand but it was just out of range Boy, just changing level and pay the price we're just getting a heavy body kick there as he was coming in he's trying to change level and get them hands class for a double but a big wide stance by Evans Lemire is a big man you might see Boy change to a single here and perhaps maybe try to run the pipe with it trying a little inside trip again he's tricky with them little tricks he goes on the single now and does get it down but Irvin slips on the back scramble for position and it, it is a big scramble and just like I said earlier Sean Boyd does brilliantly in the scrambles gets two hands class the bell is going to go but that's a perfect example he looked in really if it takes a really disadvantaged position there for a while Sean Boyd but he somehow scrambles and ends up two hands class in a double you got to think Darren Sonic would have been telling this fighter in between rounds there urgency is required you've got a point deducted so you potentially need to win this round even to get a draw potentially so expect to see some urgency out of Irvin Lemire's a big right hand just coming off a kick from Sean Boyd but Boyd's shown he can take a shot as well and Lemire's is just sort of trying to fake takedowns to show Boyd see does he get a reaction and come up top with his hands big two fighters there throwing big wild right hands at each other no one lands Boy, it in, hunting for that takedown. Big sprawl by Irvin Lemires. This is important that he doesn't get taken down here, you feel. Tries to turn on the back and ends up in half mount. Steps across into full mount. Beautiful by Irvin Lemires. He certainly has stepped it up here in the third round. He just needs to control, get posture and rain down shots here. Boy throws the legs up to try and pull him back a little, but Irvin Lemires has landed big shots on top here. Johnny Shields looking closely. Sean Boyd's got to improve his position. Big, big shots by Irvin Lemire's and Johnny Shields telling Sean Boyd to move, defend yourself. He's not really doing that at the moment. And Johnny Shields steps in. Irvin Lemire's, you feel, needed that in the third round. He came out, got the takedown, landed into full mount and landed heavy, heavy ground and pound on top to get the victory and snatch the victory away from Sean Boyd.